Hello, people, and welcome to the Organized Nonsense Podcast. Uh, late night Saturday edition or something. Uh, to do that, you have to do oh. this or something. I don't know. <coughs> I'm I mean, here, I'm thinking about I'm being late night radio DJs. You can. Oh, have we started? Yeah, we have. Oh, great. Yeah, we're recording. Did it get the silence too? Yeah. Great. Um, you're meant to. In- I'll edit that. Because we've got, gone so used to you stealing our intros. I did steal the intro this time. No, you didn't. You yeah, just did. stayed I said, silent. I, I said, hello. All right, guys. Hello. Look. Hello, and welcome to another episode of Reading Grey Modley's Tweets. <laughs> <laughs> did he ever That's... point out about that? I. Well, okay, that would. They will have to well, ask well, him that. Well, well, Christian, you're still alive, so. Because he doesn't, he doesn't know where I live. <laughs> He doesn't listen. Yeah. Yeah, uh, but Kevin would seem like the person to tell him. Yeah, so unless Kevin told him, he wouldn't know. Mm. And clearly he didn't, because Guys, he's still I'd alive. I just realised um, this podcast is basically late night radio. Nobody yeah. listens. We, Nobody listens. We, we just dick around for an hour, and the mm. only people who actually listen are like... are like um, my girlfriend, out of and some odd paid. sense of, of obligation. Yeah. We don't get paid. Probably just keeping tabs on you. Um, <laughs> just making sure, like, if you say some oh, shit... Oh, great. Like, so, so we can't go into our regularly scheduled hentai segments. And, but on oh, the other no. hand, we don't get paid. Late night radio DJs do. Yeah. <laughs> so, uh, unless you're willing to pay for a Patreon, and if so, <laughs> write yeah. that in the comments, you know. Um... All right. Well, we don't don't okay. I will actually stop the Patreon <laughs> for channel. <laughs> Woo! That's always a fun thing to have in a podcast. Sure, um, I don't think I'm dying. Great. Uh, <coughs> uh, <coughs> this is why you should never drink water. See, yeah, <coughs> other than living, you know, it's not good for anything. Um, Whoa. Okay. It's just such a troublesome fucking experience that water bullshit, you know. <coughs> Like, why is that so fucking much of it? Uh, guys, what name should I put in for the, um, Patreon account? <laughs> um, no, Kevin Patreon, Smith. Patreon, you dingus. Um. Okay, I put in Kevin Smith. I can hear keyboard movements. Are you actually setting up a PayPal yeah, account? <laughs> I said it was. <laughs> oh, God. Yeah, but Christian, you say a lot of things. Um, <laughs> <What's> <laughs> the... I did not have sexual relations with that Patreon account. What? what? Where did you get that from it? <laughs> Why is that the reference you go for? <laughs> yeah. And you didn't even do a voice. Yeah. I didn't even know the voice for that reference. Bill Clinton! Ah, <laughs> uh, did not... I repeat, I did not have sexual relations with that woman. Oh, uh, I'm, going, I'm going to... I'm going to America in it on Wednesday, and it's going to be horrible. Poor child. Um, no, it's in, it's are you... In, oh, going, are you going to be in America for Patty's Day? Yeah, I am. Oh, yeah. <laughs> oh, I was being sarcastic when I said poor child. <laughs> yeah. I take that back. Yeah. I, I am genuinely sympathetic. Um... <laughs> Me and my <laughs> sister, though, are going to go around talking in incredibly Ir- thick Irish accents. For example, half yeah. of the morning to you, my name's Seamus I Flaherty, am. and I'm from the Ring of Tara. It's always the Flaherty's. Yeah. Do, do, do yeah. we... Okay, I don't know any O'Flaherty's. I, do either of you know any O'Flaherty's? I know one. I don't. Oh, well, there we go. I was doing... the account. What, um... This is like... So, we just, like... Like, Alright, we have an actual Shams- account. <laughs> like, really. No, but so even, even fucking England celebrate. Even England celebrate yeah. Paddy's Day more than us. <laughs> no, no, <laughs> Which is you know a little thing? fucking rich. Do you, know, do you know what the weirdest um, thing is? Yeah? Th- there's, there's a St. Patrick's Day parade over there. But yeah. It's not on St. Patrick's Day. It's on yeah. Saturday. Yep. Fucking Jesus. Because they don't get a day off. Yeah, they don't get the day off. Yeah. Hey guys, mm. should I make a fake email for this, or should I use our own one? Oh yeah, we have an email. I never said 
set up a PayPal yeah, account. Yeah. I said a Patreon. <laughs> uh, yeah, Patreon. I'm on the Patreon site. And I said also that we should wait to see if anyone will actually fucking use it first. Because well, if not, we're some shitty podcast with two listeners with a pay- with a pay- with a Patreon account. Wait, wait, well, we don't zero know. subscribers. Wait, wait, two listeners. Who's the second one? Well, um, we got Ghostman. Who the hell is Ghostman? Yeah, g- good job, Ghostman. How you doing? Um, um, wait, guys, 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 guys. Why was that the first name that came to my head? Guys, why? I, I think we need to seriously consider our brand right now. Um, why? Oh, our brand. Because, yeah, because we need to um, think of what creative substance we bring and how we'd like to request. Christian, um, we, we don't bring money. anything. We don't. Bring Are you talking? Are, is is this on the Patreon account? Is, do you have to fill this out for the Patreon? <laughs> look, is, just is that uh, uh, that? look. I'll use our email. Uh, Don't set up a Patreon account. I got just with a laugh. No. Yeah, come on, no, what are they no. gonna do? <laughs> don't. I'm using the organized nonsense email. What's gonna happen? <laughs> we'll look back. Nobody watches it. This is looking great. Really? Yeah, but people look, people look at the Patreon pages. Mm. People look at Patreon and they go through the pages. And they look at fucking you know, new they patrons. Look... No, and they, they don't. See... Do you really... Well, well, I, do you I, really I, I've, never, I've never been on Patreon. Do you really go to go to Patreon and look for new people? If, if anyone was ever going I've to been... support I have no on Patreon is because they were told that this specific person had one. Yeah. Well, Kevin, you I, gotta realize what happens if someone accidentally gives us money? Like they click donate by accident. Well, there we, we go. Money? Five five dollars a month from them. Thank you. Um, we'll 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 spend that on. Well, no, drugs are more expensive than that. Um, actually, we well, could, we could put it toward the uh, Geneva and Roku. Let's play. That is a fair point. Yes, yeah, we could. Oh, yeah, yeah. Um, um, password, guys. Password. Uh, uh use, 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 Don't <laughs> say it out loud on the podcast. You idiot. Come on, it'll be hilarious. No, it won't. Uh, no, well, Christian. Well, Christian, no, Christian you, you know, you know, you know the password we use, Christian. Yeah, use the same one we use for everything else. I, I, I'm not sure we're talking about the same one, Christian. The, the um. The suit. Would you the, like bear the, suit. No. The, war- right, the bear uh, suit. The bear suit, Christian. Bear suit? I have signed up for Patreon. The bear suit. Hold on. I I'm not giving you the Patreon. context of that, Kevin, but um, the bear Hold suit, on. Christian. I know, I know. Is it that one? Is it that one? What? Or some variation of that? Uh, I actually just used the older one that we used. No, D. Our first no, D. One. Oh, the... Or the gym related one. Oh. Oh. Yeah. <laughs> Classic. Now, um, here is uh, our Patreon account. Uh, king of the fucking bitches. <laughs> Wait, what? Just type in king of the fucking bitches on Patreon. I, is, fuck <laughs> is that... Christian, I assume you don't have a copy of the logo, so that isn't there, is it? <laughs> well, then I'll make the... Uh, I, no, I can get the Hello. copy. I'll, I'll send you one, Christian. That, that that should be your new review channel, Christian. Um, what, what's make it a Patreon for that. With Christian, what's it called again? Uh, King of the fucking bitches. Okay, I'm looking. And they one. let you use that name. Yeah. On, on the Patreon site. Yeah, it's right here. It's like a serious business site where they, yeah. where where YouTubers scam people out of five dollars a month. Yeah. Christian, I looked this off, but I'm not seeing anything. Good. What? That's odd. All Send right. Me a uh, link. Let's see if I can Send the link. Oh, Here's uh Send the link, Christian. We haven't actually talked about anything yet. Yeah. Do you notice that? Yeah, but we're setting up our very first organized nonsense Patreon where we can scam people. Christian, send the No, Christian. You just decided to do that. <laughs> After I specifically told King. you not to. <laughs> King of the Fucking okay. Bitches is not a patron. I don't want to be traced. Yet. Christian. What? You set Christian. up a patron account, didn't yeah, make you, the patron. You, yeah, you set an account. You fucking idiot. 
Okay. Wait, I need okay. to make a patron. <laughs> exactly. It's work, Christian. You don't want to do that. Just come on. Get back to get back to this nonsense. Um, I didn't oh, mean to make that pun. Yeah, I, I, see what, I see what you did there. I, I didn't mean to. Um, no, that's bad. I oh, I'm still surprised. No. All right, guys, we're gonna have to cancel our Patreon account. Good. You can give us all your money. Oh, look, you can uh, send all of your money towards my address, which is at. Um, I'm trying to think of a fake address right now. One, two, three. One, two, three. Fake. 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 <laughs> we say same one. Rudy Internet High Five. Is that a Sim? It's a Simpsons reference, right? Yeah, it is. Yeah, and and they and it turns out there is a one two three fake street. <laughs> <laughs> no, yeah, definitely, yeah, right. Yeah, I remember that. Yeah. Yeah. I, yeah. Yeah. Uh, I'm just gonna read a Simpsons wiki page now. <laughs> One two three fake street is the address that Marge made up when calling the police. She accidentally yeah. cut off Homer's thumb, but Chief <laughs> Wiggum thought it was attempted murder and asked for her address so that they could come and arrest her. The address happened to exist because when the police arrived at the location, Milhouse and Bart were there with illegal fireworks to hide from oh, them. Oh yeah, I remember. Yes. A decent episode, if memory serves. Maybe oh, good. It was. I yeah, de decent, decent. Yeah. The last Direct episode I saw was um the like Elon, I want the Elon Musk one. Oh, I watched the Lego one and it was awful. <laughs> of course, it was awful. They couldn't even do their own crossover with Futurama, right? Well, that's because it was barely a Futurama crossover. It was just a Simpsons episode that had, like, Futurama c c characters in it for, like, five seconds. Oh, yeah. Okay. Did Fry even talk in that one? I don't remember. Um, and, of course, the cardinal sin of the Family Guy episode, which was... Yeah. <sighs> truly, truly, truly awful, really. And of course, now we move on to our usual meandering segment, news. What happened? <laughs> I've never introduced it like that, we've just fucking launched into it usually. News. Yeah, that, that's so, a okay. theme song for it uh, now. Yeah, great. Hello um, and welcome to Sean Reedy at Last Week Tonight. So, no, it's welcome, welcome, welcome. <laughs> Welcome, and welcome, welcome, just for as a he fuck, just in time as, for something. As he there. fucking furiously beats the table um, <laughs> in, into horrible, horrible submission. Um, <laughs> and, and then just time for a quick uh, recap of the week. And it's like, that's yes, that's your entire show. You have half an hour to do it. That is your job. It's, it's, it's the name of the show. You, you don't have to say it. Um, but yeah, there was the thing the internet liked to talk about, the, um, Spider-Man, because... People like Spider-Man, I guess? People <laughs> like Spider-Man. And people like Marvel movies, for... Some reason. People still like Marvel movies, for whatever reason, um... I liked Age of Ultron. Congratulations, you're unique, um... <laughs> Thank you. That's the nicest thing uh, anyone's ever said to me. Yes. Um, but people... Spider-Man was in a thing, and people went crazy. Haha! <laughs> Isn't that wonderful? I actually I actually liked the costume. Yeah, I'm fine with it. Oh, and also, the, if you've seen the logo, it's a picture of... It's a person. It's like, it is a, both a man and a... It's weird. I'm fucking... I'm gonna try to find this, and you can edit the it in. On this chest. Fuck you. Yeah, the logo on his chest, it's it's like a man, it's a man and a spider, it's, it's a spider, a spider man, if you will, um, <laughs> shut up, really, indeed, <laughs> that was like, Kevin, did you honestly not think that was ironic, I mean, come on, one, two, three, fake street, Christian Galway, 
<laughs> no, just click it, click it. That's not what it actually is. There you go. Why? Why? It is supposed to be why is Graham Modley denying his alcoholism? Oh dear. This picture. Look at the first picture that comes up. We're searching one, two, three, Fake Street. Um, yeah, that is that is. Uh, oh. Yeah, that is a Spider Man. Indeed, it is. Yeah, it that is, is a, um, a that man, is a, a shape of a silhouette of a person. Yes. That is legs coming out of it. Nice. It's like it is a Facebook profile picture with eight legs. <laughs> I mean, at least it's not a Twitter egg, because um, we all know those are worse. Some people um, keep their Twitter egg on purpose. Yeah, most of those are gamer gators. Um, is that the first time we've mentioned GamerGate? No, I, I just hope so. Uh, Good. Um, we made a joke about it in, like last year, I think. Yeah, definitely. Oh, we can say that now because we've been doing this more than a year. Um, yeah. Yeah. No, I don't like that talk at yeah. all. <laughs> yeah, that that's kind of scary. Yeah, and whatever. we still have two viewers, two loyal viewers. Well, we had about six then, so. Yeah, we actually had like yeah, we, ten people. We lost. We actually had ten. Yeah, we had like a we ten. had like a consistent ten each episode, and like there are still episodes with no views um, mm. recently, which is pretty fun. Um, if you like uh, videos that haven't been watched by anyone. And we put oh, all of this wonder. Yeah. Well, no, Kevin puts work in. We just fucking sit so like, hey, Kevin, put this oh, shit yeah. in. Kevin sometimes doesn't even bother. Sometimes he just like reuses the uh, description from other videos, even oh, if they're God. not relevant. Hold on, how many? And people... Kevin always chooses the worst fucking thing we say for the title. Wait, like, wait, hold on. It, and sometimes it won't even make sense as a title, and he won't even write it right. Like, rape tape singular. What is that even? When did we say that? Last week. In re in in a referral to Metal Gear Solid Five Ground Zeroes and its um. Oh yeah. Uh, guys, yeah. got audio, audio logs. Logs. What do you think? Guys, we've been getting upvotes on the on the subreddit. Oh great. Yeah. We, Why? We have, I don't know. We have five subscribers. Three people are on the subreddit now. Yeah, but that's just like bot shit. Um, yeah, and. Most of our, most question. of our, um, uh, <coughs> most of the posts have one, one uh, upvote that isn't my defaulted one. Yeah, also probably bots. Actually, I need to mention something else that's depressing. Just something. And what is that? None of them have any. All right, let's check. Let's uh, let's let's check my Twitter account right now. Uh, I've been on Twitter since what 2013. Um, yeah. 18,000 tweets? Yeah. Only 57 followers. How many do you have, Reedy? About 200 and something. Uh, I have 100 and... Hold on. Let me look. go on to the website, because it doesn't... Because uh... it doesn't tell you how many tweets you have. I have 346 <laughs> Twitter followers. Actually, what do I want to do? I want to use Twitter tunnel right now, and I want to see, like... So, do I actually Twitter have... Tunnel? I have, um... Okay, I have 144 uh, followers and 4,789 tweets. I have 29,600 uh, tweets and 346 followers. Which is pretty fun. You know? It's a, it's a lot of bullshit. Um, yeah, it's just... That's I just because you retweet little... everything. How do I... Maybe. No, no Maybe. it definitely is. I want to check... Um, Maybe. <clears throat> and... Uh... Alright, uh, do you... How, oh, wait, with Twitter tone, do you, do you use the current name or the old name? What do you mean? What? Like, if I were to type in the Gamer Tribune, would that still work? No, you'd use the current name. Okay. Maybe humorous. But can we also talk about how Marvel in their trailer like explicitly 
and showed a major character death. Can we can we talk about that? Because <laughs> talk about what? The the fact that Marvel showed a major character death, like in the middle of their trailer, and people were like, oh, oh this is the, and people were like, oh, this is the fucking coolest. But Batman v Superman shows fucking Doomsday, and people were like, no, this is spoiling too much. Give it, get it Wait, away. Who died in the trailer? Rhodey. Who? <laughs> War Machine. Oh yeah. Oh, and also they showed Spider-Man. That like, no one's like, oh, that's a spoiler. When fucking same thing as Doomsday. Yeah, but like, it's almost the exact same thing as Doomsday because they're like, oh, it just feels sort of tacked on at the end, you know? It no, feels but weird. like, every, people are su- there's people... there's it, and people are like, oh, the CG looks weird. The same people, for Doomsday. People already fucking, thought. People already thought that uh, Spider-Man was going to be in. People Civil already War. thought Doomsday was going to be in. I didn't hear anyone talk about Doomsday in uh, Batman I did. Or Superman. I did. Multiple people. Um, <coughs> and also, it doesn't really matter because apparently, according to people, have seen the film and they've talked about it and have said the trailers don't reveal too much at all. So. I don't know. I just I see the heavy DC bias on the internet, and it's it's kind of fucking annoying at this point. And then they just go up in the straight of, and then they start pandering by doing the Guardians of the Galaxy thing with Suicide Squad, and people fucking eat it up. It's just kind of annoying. Yeah. Of course they will. You know what's so awkward? Seeing a film, and the person next to you is absolutely. <coughs> Yeah, and you hate every single thing that's happening. Yeah. Yeah, it's just it's kind of awkward. <laughs> yeah, I had that experience uh, during Interstellar. Um, I I brought a guy to Interstellar because I was looking forward to Interstellar, and oh, I absolutely was it your first did. It was a group of people. This specific one, Ooh. I tell uh, you, people he who fucking... are platonic. Okay, and this specific person. He, he'd never heard of it, fucking... And he fucking loved it. He thinks this is the greatest film of all time. And he, he has not stopped talking about it in the two years since that film came out. I swear to God. It's insane. And he still seems to think they should make a sequel. When, <laughs> like, that's not how that movie works. He, he fucking likes it so much, and he fails to understand it. Even I just, uh, yeah, I don't. I, I really hated Interstellar. I we think, noticed. Yeah. Um. See, see, I liked parts, see, re, see, but then the end. You, when, so you do with you. It's either you love stuff or you hate stuff. There's very rarely any in between. Marvel, <laughs> not Marvel movies at this point. I just feel like I go through and it's just like, oh, great, hi, that was, that was, that was fun, okay, Apples. yeah, Ooh. I totally want to see that's that in, film that, again. That's indifference, that's different. Yeah, exactly. I, I, Age of Ultron, I walked out and I was just like, well, that was certainly a film. <laughs> that was, that was, that was, that, that was a thing. That, I that was say. a film. <laughs> that, that was two and a half hours long, you know. Hey, is that, that, okay? that, managed to do, that managed to do almost absolutely nothing in fucking how many? Two and a half hours? Yeah. Managed to do nothing. So, good, good job, film. Fucking bravo. I'm like... From Age of Ultron, all I really wanted was two things. I wanted good Hulk guy and good good Ultron. I got one of them, but I hated Ultron so, so much that it just completely fucking... Yeah. I think he was okay over. at parts. I think he was okay at parts. I, no, I think it completely destroyed the character. And no, it's just a different character, and I'm annoyed because I'll never see the character that I do like. Because this one exists. You know? And Hey guys, I just realized something. Yeah. What if Rose is actually lying and that the person that's watching us is actually Obama? Uh, 
then, hello, Mr. Obama. How are you today? So, what about those Chaos Emeralds? Um, the what? Chaos Emeralds. You uh, never... We... Kevin, you've never Christian, seen that. breaking news. Breaking news, Christian. Oh. Breaking news. Um, Jamatsu have sources suggesting that Final Fantasy XV will be releasing worldwide on PlayStation 4 and Xbox One on Friday, September 30th. September 30th? September 30th. Anything particular about that date? It's the day Final Fantasy XV is coming out. Uh, and why would Christian care? Because I pre-ordered it. Is getting Final Fantasy XV. Oh, okay. And Christian happens to like Final Fantasy a good deal. Does he? Since when? Yeah. Uh, since when, Kevin? I've this never is what heard I... you. I've never heard this you is... talk about it. Are you fucking this... serious? Other this than how... Fire Emblem like stuff, I I don't think I've ever heard you talk about Fire Emblem. I said Final Fantasy. Oh, Final oh. Fantasy, you blind! Ah. Uh, <laughs> <laughs> uh, <laughs> <laughs> See, I haven't been Jeez. paying attention. <laughs> <laughs> and also, Fire Emblem. 15, actually, no, they're on. Actually, no, they are on Fire Emblem Fifteen after Fates, aren't they? Fates was fourteen. Yeah, the next one's gonna be fifteen. Yeah, I was about to say they're on Fire Emblem Fifteen. Oh wait, shit, they are. They just don't number them. Do you think people would would not make those uh huh Final Fantasy jokes if they just not use numbers and instead gone with like actual titles? Yeah. Well, they do sometimes, but... With main series games? No. No, they don't. No, they do. Well, if you technically count, like, uh... This, Type like... Zero? Like, Lightning what? Returns or something. Type Zero? Well, no, that was Final Fantasy thirteen Lightning Returns. Yeah. Well, it will... Even though that is the third Final Fantasy thirteen game. <laughs> so Final Fantasy sixteen. Well, there's... Oh, uh... no, it wasn't even Final Fantasy sixteen. Well, you couldn't call Crisis Core Final Fantasy seven. Like, okay. No, I, I couldn't even tell you what um what the actual Final Fantasy number of Lightning Returns would be because there's just so many that aren't counted. Like do you count Final Fantasy for the after years? Do you count fucking Well and... some people like to. Do you count I count Crisis Fun... Four because it's actually good. Do you count Final Fantasy XIV? Do you count okay, Realm okay. Reborn as a separate game? Do you count... Well, 14's, and 14 has a number. That's... Do you, no, but do you count Realm Reborn as a separate game? No, it's a part of it. No, but it, they're basically entirely fucking different games. Well, I don't know. I don't play 14. Well, no, here's the, here's the kicker. 14 was steaming hot, gar steaming hot shit. Just a load of shit. Until they uh, fixed it. <laughs> until they fixed it when they brought out Realm Reborn and rebooted the whole thing. Yeah? Well, it's technically a part of the same plot because, you know, uh, apparently... Yeah, well, they shut down the old servers. Yeah, but according to the story, the planet got nuked and then got started over again. What, after 14? Yeah, apparently yeah, some... that about, that about, okay, okay, so... Yeah, that's, that's pretty much what happened in real life, too. Um... <laughs> Okay, a so, wizard oh no, here. Fire Emblem Fates is the 15th Fire Emblem game, if you count. Right. Yeah, it says 14th main game, 15th overall. What would be the... What fucking weird-ass uh, Fire, Fire Emblem game? Shadow Dragon, I think? Oh, no, Shadow Dragon... There were two Shadow Dragon games, though, so that would have... Remakes and spin-off. Oh no, it counted Shadow Dragon. But there was a second Shadow Dragon, wasn't there? Yeah. Weird. Speaking of uh, Japanese games that uh, make me moan in pain and agony, uh, oh. mm. I, I thought you were still talking about Fire Emblem, and I thought you oh. said moan, and like, <laughs> oh, whatever you want, because you have... uh, I lo There's this guy I watch on YouTube, he uh, translated DGS, the better Ace Attorney yeah. game that's not coming out. <laughs> And speaking here, so, um, speaking of games that are never coming out, um, Persona Five, <laughs> hilarious. But 
since Sonic is dead at this point, like actually, he's not, yeah. he's not dead. But no, he actually is at this point. Oh, I actually <laughs> have something to talk. I have something to say about Sonic. Uh, what? Rose actually has Lost World. I think. I'm, I mean, I think it's Lost World, and I think Great. she liked it. So that's a thing. Yeah, Lost World. Who's is a shit about your girlfriend? <laughs> <laughs> you just bring her up at any. Yeah, you're just bringing no, see, her up. No, see, Christian, yeah. Christian did this to me for, like, the first two months. when he Yeah, but we're doing on the podcast. <laughs> well, tough. And why is it she liked Sonic Lost World? A yeah. fucking... Why did she like Sonic? Okay. That's the big question. Like Lost World was... Yeah, that's another thing. Who liked Sonic? Lost World is divisive. I liked yeah. the demo, but yeah, I never I liked it. I liked played. the demo. I never... Everyone likes the demo. It's, like, literally the first good part of the game. You mean the first level? No, but this was my topic. Uh, there was this great video by uh, Super Bunny Hop. Um, oh, and he yeah. Went... Yeah, I watched yeah, he... a bit of it. I never watched yeah, it. Yeah, it was 40 it's... minutes long, yeah. and it was just going through the first level of every Sonic game, and how... Is it actually worthwhile think... to watch all of? Yeah, it is, it is. Um, yeah. And it's a great video, and it talks about how the first level of every Sonic game is always the best level. No, it's not. Yes, it is. What, you're gonna say, like, uh, what, you're gonna, like, shit on every single great level of Sonic Tree? Well, Sonic 3 is yeah. an exception. No, it's I not. Th There's more than one exception. <laughs> well, give me another Sonic game where the first level is not the best one, other than Generations. Oh, uh, that was gonna say. Uh, alright. I can put wrong. Mass what colors? Just, um, um, Rosh. He, he didn't count Rush. Um, he didn't go. He just meant the main Sonic games. Oh. Yeah, main Sonic. Uh, all right, let me think. Sonic Adventure, definitely, because like I, I like I like Emerald Coast, he, he, but I also he, like. In in that one, he did say that that level was shit. Um, so yeah, yeah, I didn't okay, yeah. The first it's not Sonic it. Adventure. The, the... Uh, Sonic Adventure Two. Well, Sonic I, Adventure Two is definitely the best level. You really well, can't argue that. The escape. Yeah. You see, uh, I, like, Escape from the I, City I, is a pretty good level, like, to be fair. Yeah, but I also like the final stage in Sonic Adventure. Yeah. So, and the rest is total dog shit, pretty much. Well, yeah. no, no, I don't think... Yes, I don't yes, think, yes. Yeah, it kind of is. Well, I, I can make an argument for Sonic Heroes. I don't think... I think no, the Sonic, Heroes, stage... Sonic Heroes' first level is definitely the best one. Mm. No, because... No, no, the second stage in Sonic Heroes is definitely the best one. Which one's that? Uh, that one has the same design and everything. It's basically just another three acts of the first level. <sighs> All right, yes. uh, Sonic. Shadow of the Hedgehog. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> he did count Shadow of the Hedgehog as a main game, weirdly. It enough. is. It ca it's canon. Really? Yeah, is it's it? canon. Oh, in the God. in the very strict Sonic canon. <laughs> yep. Uh, Sonic Unleashed. No, definitely not Sonic Unleashed. No, because we're top run. Yeah. Um. We, you can just seconds. count out the Hedgehog games, the, no, the Hedgehog Engine games, because those three are like genuinely good the whole way through. So, yeah, yeah, they're, uh, they, they're they, not like um, shit. They're the only Sonic games since three where it's good the whole way through. Well, you can make an argument for the Warehog being shit, but I don't because it's actually decent. It's. Uh, I did actually forget about that. I, I always forget about that with Unleashed because, like, you're like, "Oh, it's so great," and but there's that part. You know? Why do you forget about? How can you forget about the thing where this, the only song that plays is da 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 Stretchy Kratos. <laughs> um, it's. You see, the first time I played God of War was actually Song of Unleashed. <laughs> mm -hmm. Um, I actually remember playing the Warehog game, a bit of it. Anyway. Oh, that would be the Wii version, though. That one's yeah. slightly. I think the. Am I correct in saying that the Werehog stages in that are slightly better? I don't know. No, but they're not years ago. They're so much worse. Okay. Okay, cool. I looked up Stretchy Kratos, and absolutely nothing comes up for Werehog. Yeah. What, Stretchy Kratos? <laughs> That's a shame. No, but yeah, Generations pretty much had to be good the whole way through because it has first levels through the whole game. 
Um, no, no, it doesn't. No, it doesn't. Uh, well, uh, Seaside highway. Hill. No, I'm saying yeah, but there are like multiple first levels. You have City Escape. You have uh, Seaside Hill. You have. Yeah. Well, of course you have Green Hill because that's the fucking first level. Um, that is the. <laughs> What's no? That's okay, yeah, that's it. That's There's only three, three out of nine. What about the 3DS version? The 3DS, version the 3DS version rips off older levels. <laughs> like it, it yeah, copies who, the level design. Who cares? I do. That's lazy as all hell. Yeah, but it's the, the game is literally just a best hits album. Great yeah, greatest, but, greatest but, hits but, album. But but but, but oh, God's sake. It gave yeah. Classic Sonic the homing attack. I know they did, yeah. But That's only like halfway awful. through. Yeah, that, only that like halfway weird. through the game. Yeah, that was weird. Only like halfway through the game, though. Yeah, but they give him the homing attack. What's the point then? Well, ask Dimps when they made Sonic Four. Um, is there a Sonic Four level in the 3DS version? No. Good. Um, it's literally just the same levels from uh, generations only. Yeah. <laughs> I mean, there's like a couple of rush. Actually, you know what? There's only one rush level. One. Yeah. Well, but from the whole series. Yeah, just one. Yeah. That is weird, considering it's made by the uh, rush guys. Yeah, the rush guys also made uh, Street Fighter Four and Five. And we know how that. Well, uh, any explainable bottom right. list in those games? Mm -hmm. I mean, where's that car going to go? They beat up all those cars? you got to put them somewhere. You don't just have... There are no scrap cars in the Street Fighter universe. It's very efficient. Um, they all have fucking 300... This is Sparta holes. It's, it's a very wonderful system. And... I was very happy with myself today because I got myself up into Bronze League in Street Fighter V, which is a tremendous achievement. <laughs> <laughs> I got myself up into the league that's not silver and not gold. Yeah, but it's also not rookie, so... It's not... What? You have to get 500 league points to get into Bronze. Out How of many do you get for winning a match? What, um... 60. But you lose... 20 for losing. That's fucking awful! No, that's called a ranking system. Yeah, no, I mean, that seems, that seems pretty fair. You yeah. lose more than you gain. No, you don't. No, you don't. You lose 20. You lose 20, yeah, you gain you... 60. Oh, I thought you said 16. Why would you only get 16? Why would you get 16? That's such an odd <laughs> number to give. <laughs> you, have to, it's, you have to gain 500 to get out of the first league, you know? It's, it's gonna take a while. You just get in sixteen. You that means you actually, only won about ten matches. If you no, but I lost matches also, and I had to gain back the points. So, yeah. Um. So you just couldn't do good enough. Oh no, Tristan. I'd like to see how long it'd take you to get up to bronze league. Uh, well, I've learned from Persona Four. I absolutely suck at uh, those type. I never played a Street Fighter game in my life. Well, no, so, you didn't. What, what, what did you actually do in Ultimax before you deleted it? Um, the story mode. How much of it? Wait, uh, you, did you die on the story mode? No, no, I didn't. I got past the. I got past the. All right, I'm trying to remember what happened. It was a uh, Shadow U. I got past him, and then it was uh, can't remember. I can't remember. But I got past Shadow U, which is literally the first fight. But I got past right. that. Great. And I still did terrible. And you just decided, oh, I'm awful. I'm going to delete it <laughs> instead of, you know, learning to play the game like you would with any other game. Well, you see, um, Smash Brothers? I'm sorry, Mr. Hansen. I just... <laughs> I think you should go back to animating. I mean, what? the game still isn't for you. I mean, excuse... You I'm, making an ego... I'm making an ego after joke. Because you skip the tutorial and are expecting yourself to do well. Um, did did you do the tutorial, Christian? Yeah, I did. I was absolutely terrible at that too. 
to do really the, the tutorial which is yeah, like hit this, this button hit this yeah, button I mean, like the other complicated shit that they threw in like like blocking I, yeah like I didn't know how to fucking block you walk backwards yeah I know that's like in every fighting game it's not like yes. I don't know how to block in a fighting game well clearly no, no because I don't want to just spend the entire match blocking well you don't yeah, that's you, why you I decided. When you think an attack is coming. In fact, in Persona, they actually reward you for that because if you block at the second they attack, it gets you a like a shorter window. I think they had like stuff about attacking while blocking. Ugh, I don't wow. know. Wow, what a what a what a what a headache! Hitting two buttons at once. Man, <laughs> I don't think that I can figure that out. No, I mean attacking from a blocking position, not attacking wall at a blocking position. Yes, wow, like hitting a button, then hitting another button. I mean, whew, that's some tough stuff. <laughs> <laughs> Too much for me. Did, did you get to instant kills? I'd have liked to see how you did with them. Yeah, those are fucking awful. <laughs> well, hitting a button three times, and then hitting f four other buttons at the same time. Mm. You go down, down, down. And then you hit four buttons. Up, up, down, 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 left, right, PA, right. start. Oh no, why isn't it working? Which, right now, I am hitting with one thumb. I'm hitting all four of those buttons right now. Very easily. So, well, I don't... Da, 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 da. Very simple. You don't even end up using instant kills in a real game. Yeah, why would you use... Yeah, I was wondering that. Why do you put instant kills in a fighting game? You could, No, there are ways... <sighs> okay. So, in Persona, and in Guilty Gear as well, and probably Blaze Blue, I don't know. Blaze Blue is anime trash. The other two are good. Um, <laughs> um, okay, Kevin, before you say something, Guilty Gear is like 90s anime. Then Persona... Is Persona, and then Blaze Blue is just like shitty rip-offs of every anime they can find. Isn't that Neptunia or something like that? No, Neptunia is. Oh Jesus, Neptunia! Ke Kevin, are you familiar with Neptunia? I am not. I'm looking it up though. Hyperdimension Neptunia is a series of Japanese role-playing oh. games. Oh, I can see about, this. Like that the is first about. One. That is about the console wars. Jesus. And it Fucking Jesus. doesn't make wow. much sense at like, all. The first thing I saw when I went on to images was this like Moe trash. Yep. Yep. And this is coming it from is. a weeb. Yeah, it's And it's about the console wars? Yeah. Like well, really. It is literally about the console wars. <laughs> I, I will read you some of the wiki page. Go on. How long um, we get onto it? Hyperdimension Neptunia. Uh, let me read this. Uh, Hyperdimension uh, the game is... Uh, sorry, uh, sorry. Plot. Uh, the game takes place in the world of GAM industry. <laughs> which is divided into... <laughs> Hold on. Which is divided into four regions. Planeptune, Lastrodon, Lowy... Lastation? No, Laystation. Laystation. Oh my god, I just realized that. Laystation. Lowy. Lowy. <laughs> and Leanbox. Each region is completely different from the others. And has a basilicon where the it. citizens worship their country's goddess. Also known as the, control, the console patron units. Wait, guys, I have to go. CPU. The wait, player wait. takes on the role of the main protagonist, Neptune, one of four goddesses who is involved in a long series of conflicts known as the Console War. It is literally actually called the Console War. Jesus fucking Christ. <laughs> wait, where are you reading this? From the Wikipedia page. I was reading that too. Oh. I'm, not, I'm not seeing all that. It's in... I'm I'm reading the one for the first game. I think you might be looking at the series one. Oh, yeah. Because there's, yeah. like, so many of them. Is there? Jeez. Okay, um, I'm gonna... Hyperdimension Neptunia. Okay, yeah. 
video. Hyperdimension. Hyperdimension Neptunia, Neptunia, Neptunia Mark II. Hyperdimension Neptunia, 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 Neptunia Victory. Hyperdimension Neptunia the Seven. Play. Okay. Um, the player takes the role of the sense. main protagonist, Neptune, one of the four goddesses who is in the uh, long. After an incident where Neptune is defeated following uh, a one-on-three battle with the other goddesses, she loses consciousness and begins dreaming. Upon waking up, she finds herself at Kampa's house, having crash-landed earlier in front. Neptune reveals that she can't remember anything up to that point, which leads Kampa to believe that Neptune is suffering from amnesia. Uh, after and hearing, of course, there's a 12-episode anime. After hearing from Kampa that monsters have begun to run loose, Neptune decides to go hunt them along with Kampa. During her first hunt, she suddenly transforms her her hard disk for into her hard disk form, Purple Heart, and defeats a large monster. Eventually, the two meet IF, who explains that uh, she's looking for treasure, and Neptune invites IF to, to join their party. After cleaning another dungeon full of monsters, the party heads to Balsicom, uh, to gain permission to travel to other land masses to fight more monsters. <sighs> the game features three endings, which are the normal, the bad, and the true ending. Under the former two endings, the console war doesn't technically end. I, I'm on the um, character pages, and so uh, Neptune, the main protagonist in most games of the series, and the goddess of the planet of, of Plan Neptune, representing the Sega Neptune. <laughs> <laughs> Wait, what? I don't know what the Sega Neptune is. <laughs> yeah, neither do I. Oh my god. Oh, it's the 32X. Oh. No, that was the beta name. It, no, it's the two. It's the version of the 32X that was, like, built into the... Holy shit. <laughs> the main character is the The Sega 32X. <laughs> <laughs> what a game. Beautiful, the most failed add-on. And there are there are four of these games. Wow. And well, where's the where's the one? And there's like the, I I looked at the latest one, and it's some shit like uh, CPU candidates, the sisters of the four goddesses, serve as the main characters. Okay, uh, on Nep Gear, known as Purple Sister, is the youngest sister of Neptune. As all the new main characters are portable handheld references, uh, she represents the Sega Game Gear. <laughs> <laughs> All the characters representation of failed Sega shit. I just I I Jeez. There's a character that represents the PC engine. The fucking PC engine. It's beautiful. There, there is a character that is literally called, who is called Nisa, who is just, who just represents Nipponichi Software, who are just the people who, just, just the people who um, publish Persona here. I, I, I don't know. <laughs> is there an Atlas character? Does he localize anything? Is he like extremely oh, xenophobic? Uh, <laughs> Our a character. Hold on. Oh, there's a there's character one. that's just oh called. Oh my god! Called... There's one that represents the <laughs> R4. Just called... There's one that represents the R4. The R4. R4. The main antagonist. Oh, I forgot to mention Neptuna. Her name is meant to sound like R4, a type of flash card commonly used for pirating DS games. There, there's a character in the third game that is literally just called Tekken. <laughs> Wait, what? His name is Tekken. <laughs> I don't know why. <laughs> She's just called Tekken. <laughs> you think they'd actually, I don't know, get caught for that type of shit? No, no, I still, like, think I, Arf, I still think R4 is the best. Because the R4 wasn't even, like, really was only big in <laughs> Europe. Tekken. <laughs> the Gulf Fur, a group consisting of four members who are attempting to take over the four nations of the game industry. Bisha, representing Bandai Namco. <laughs> Wait, a young girl who really plays right? hero and loves money but is scared of monsters. 
Kaisha, uh, the, the, the leader of the group, represents Capcom, subjected <laughs> to torture by Loewy's corrupt government. Is that meant to be the um, Street Fighter V exclusivity? Um, Reedy, where are you reading this? S. Sha represents Square Enix, rules over <laughs> Leanbox, and has Ver to do mission. And my favorite, K. Sha represents Konami. <laughs> A young girl attending last Lay Station's military academy who becomes ruthless when holding a firearm. <laughs> a firearm, presumably, that shoots out pachinko balls. Um, <laughs> Wait, where I, are you like, reading this? On the page for the latest game in the series, Hyperdimension Neptunia 7, uh, the fourth game in the <laughs> Hyperdimension that? Neptunia series. <laughs> wow. <laughs> We've been enlightened today. <laughs> Mega Dimension Neptunia 7. Is that it? Hi Hyper. Oh, yeah. Yeah. Mega Fucking. Dim Uzumi Tenoboshi. <laughs> a mysterious tomboy who suffers amnesia, representing the Sega Dreamcast. <laughs> <laughs> no shit that suffers amnesia. Yeah, boom. We got Falcom. Uh, yep. Falcom. Mm. Fucking Falcom. <laughs> Broccoli. DLC character. DLC characters Tekken, like God yeah. Eater, representing the popular game series God Eater. <sighs> Received a 32 out of 40 by um from Famitsu, and it has a 71 Metacritic. Wow. Why? I'm gonna I'm gonna look at some of these reviews on Metacritic. Let's let's look at these reviews. D there's a character called Copy Paste. Really? Yeah. Well, that that's pretty representative. <laughs> Mega Dimension Neptunia Seven is the best entry in the series to date. Um, oh my God! KG Inafune is in this. <laughs> Does he play a thief? Does he play a very lazy thief? <laughs> this is he got your money? He makes cameos. He makes a cameo as special attacks by Neptune. Uh, fucking hell. No. Very similar to past um, titles in the series. This game is tried and true because Neptune never changes. I don't fucking know. Whereas the, the review above that says Hyper Dim Mega Dimension Neptunia Seven breaks away from the formula and crafts a tale, a tale that had me laughing quite often. And gameplay that had me on my feet and scratching the back of my head in bewilderment over my next move. <sighs> I just, I, I don't, I, I don't, I don't get it. I don't think that's the point. <laughs> like what? What weebs are getting this? Like what? How weebish? Do you, and like, no, all their user reviews are tens. Don't let let Western reviews fool you. If you played it, don't let Western reviews fool you, Kevin. <laughs> Treehouse are evil. <laughs> I want my I want my wife to me. <laughs> what is it? Just a meme of a mannequin? Guys, <laughs> I'm looking at imagine. this. Picture. I'm looking Guys, at this. Imagine hyperdimension Neptunia meverse. <laughs> What a page would that be? <laughs> oh my god. <laughs> the number, it is the 33rd best PS4 game of 2016, according to Metacritic. Number 33, guys. <laughs> guys, I don't know why. Uh, the, the writer for One Piece, just for his character designs, just ripped off tons of people. Like I, I'm, sending a, I'm sending why a picture Gravity now. Rush, just... Why does Gravity Rush Remastered only have eight points more on Metacritic than fucking Mega Dimension Neptunia Seven? <laughs> That's how you know you're. Why does Street Fighter right? Five only have six more? Why did? Why is Naruto Shupiden Shupiden Ultimate Ninja Weather fucking number? Why does that have 80 while Street Fighter 5 has 77? 
Because <laughs> like the Street Fighter. Ke Kevin, came. Kevin, Kevin, Kevin. Admit the Naruto games are terrible. They're not all terrible. Yes, they are. No, they're not. <laughs> <laughs> I I prefer them at Evo to Pokémon. Um. <laughs> That is the best thing you, you were going to say about them, isn't it? I well, I mean, we've let Pokémon into Evo, so we may as well fucking let Naruto in, you know? I mean, they're about as interesting as each other to watch. Um, I mean, no, I, I will say, the Dragon Ball games are okay. Mm. Like, I can appreciate them. Some of them. No, I mean, like, the, the Budokai games, not fucking oh, yeah. Xenoverse. Um, and yeah, I can appreciate those, you know? I can't appreciate the fucking Naruto games, because it's just the same shit. Year. Like, every, like, two years or some shit, it's just like, oh, uh, great, another one of these. Oh, we have enough money to translate another one of these here. No, no, no I, I remember there was a quote from the magnificent Steve Burns at videogamer.com, and he was talking about yeah, this was like two weeks before MGS came out, and he was like expecting a review copy, and he was, and he was saying, so yeah, I, I go and I, I see we've got something in the post, and I get excited because I think it's like review code for a game that I want. And no, it's another fucking One Piece game. How many are they making? <laughs> yeah, yeah, they make so many One Piece games. How, like, no, I'm actually going to One Piece Games 24, 2015. How many One Piece Games were released last year? They're coming out with a new one as well. I know they are. Of course they are. <laughs> Jesus fucking Christ. Uh, one, how many One Piece Games are there? I don't know. I'm looking Lots. Lots. Lot. Because there, there was a 3DS. There was a Too 3DS many. one. There was a PS4 yeah. one. There was... Oh, just... One, one, one... And it is just a Warriors game, so they're fucking easy to turn out, you know? Yeah. Um, Hold One on. Piece games. One, Jesus. two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven, twelve. There, there's like a lot 13, of 13, 14, 15, 16, 17, 18, 19. There's, there's a lot of those games. 20, 21, 22. 23, 24, and that's 25, not, is that even count 26, games? 27, 28, 29, 30, 31, 32, 33, is that counting the 34, 35, 36, 37, 38, 39, uh, is that counting the mobile 40. games? 40, yeah, I think so. Like, there are a shitload of the mobile games. No, there is Okay, it's counting, I'm seeing, yeah, like, yeah fucking. I think that's okay. Counting the it's mobile games. No, I'm calling, there isn't a whole lot of mobile games. Oh. There's like two. There's like them. two mobile games. Okay, because like, this guy I follow tweets fucking things out of it all the time. Yeah, 40 One Piece games. 40. With the, with the first one being released in 16 years. Since the first one was released, I just saw it. The first one was, was a, a Wonder Swan game uh, called Become a Pirate King. We sound more like a. We sound more like a Um. There was one that was just called One Piece. Yeah, I saw that one. I don't know. It's just. <sighs> Anime games. When will they stop? <laughs> never. <laughs> they never when, end, when, really. When, they never when, end. It's like. Like, why do Atlas's time get taken away from fucking localizing <laughs> SMT4 final and put into fucking um, Sh Shingaku, whatever the fuck it is, Humanity in Chains, Attack on Attack on Wall of Titans or whatever the fuck. Um, from fucking yeah, why why is Atlas localizing that shit? Get get some bullshit little company to do it. Not the fucking best guys in the business. Are you serious? What? The best guys in the business? <laughs> at localization, yes. Atlas. Yes. <laughs> Who are you going to say is better? Anyone else. <laughs> Give me one example. That, look, you can actually... And what's wrong with Atlas localization? 
The voice acting's good. Well, that's... Um, the voice acting doesn't matter. They can pay anyone to do anything. What? Yes, <laughs> yes they can. <laughs> that's why they hired voice actors. Uh, your point is... <laughs> Well, no, they hired like four voice actors, a bunch, and have, you, have used them very well since. Um, that would be Yuri Lowenthal, John Young Bosch, Troy oh, yeah. Baker, and for when Troy Baker isn't available, Matthew Mercer. I actually met Matthew, Mer Matthew Mercer. Yeah, I know, I know. Him. Yeah, they, they, they couldn't get Troy Baker. Um, <laughs> I feel sorry for Matthew Mercer because now he is just the guy you get when you can't get Troy Baker. Like, fucking... He he was Leon Kennedy. He's gone from being Leon goddamn Kennedy to the guy you get when Troy Baker has a scheduling conflict. Which is lit literally what Atlas did. Um, That's not even the worst. There was, like, Marsha Ray or something, and nobody knew who she was, and she was kind of just there. Yeah. But no, isn't there was a two, uh, there was a three-hour-long queue for Matthew Mercer, and then Marshall Roy was also kind of just there. Yeah, that's because there. That's I. I would queue up to Matthew Mercer and just say, "Oh, Troy Baker, I'm such a big fan." <laughs> <laughs> I love. Uh, <laughs> Fuck you, uh, I loved you as Delson Rowe. <laughs> I, I would. <laughs> See. If I had known about that, I would have. But but I actually kind of had a senpai noticed me moment when he saw when I went off to him. Did you have any idea who he was? What? Did have you ever actually fucking played anything with Matthew Mercer in it? Uh, no. But he's like my favorite character in One Piece. Oh, okay. Cause, Cause I was wearing a One Piece shirt, and he's like, "Oh, I recognize that as a joke." And he's like, "I like that, nice one." And I told him that I have all of the One Piece volumes, which I do. Um, oh, he remembers you as being pretty pathetic. Um, <laughs> <laughs> no, because I just fucking I I would make fun of him, and that's annoying. Cause yeah, he's pretty good. He's pretty good, but like I can't pass that opportunity up. I'd be like. Hey man, I really liked you in the f in fucking Persona 4 the animation. <laughs> Even though no, <laughs> in Persona 4 the animation, Troy Baker was getting married, so he just left halfway through the series, <laughs> and they just added Matthew Mercer without telling anyone, <laughs> and you genuinely can't tell the difference. Wait, can anyone actually tell the difference between them? Um. I, um. And also in, I think in Persona 4 Golden, the um, Golden content is Matthew Mercer, but Troy Baker is the regular content. And the fact that I'm not sure of that speaks wonders. <laughs> Whereas with every other voice actor that's changed, they had to go back and redo the whole game with them so that it, would, so that it wouldn't seem really out of place in the new Golden stuff. But not with Troy. <laughs> like, I don't know. It's a. Guys, how long have we been talking? Uh, just yeah, over a an while. Hour. Over an hour. Yeah. Remember when we decided to shorten the episode? I'm going to check Matthew Mercer's IMDb page and then we'll probably finish. <laughs> yeah, okay. Oh, I so think I'm done uh, making our Patreon account. Oh, God. Matthew Mercer, known for Resident Evil, Damnation. Um, uh, oh my god, Ma the Matthew, Matthew Mercer. The Matthew Mercer website is so shit. Oh. It's made using like a it free a website, website builder. And you can oh, tell. Is it, is it just Troy Baker's website, but with, it, <laughs> with Troy Baker crossed out and Matthew Mercer put in it said. Does Troy Baker not have a website? Oh. Oh. I don't think he does. No, but, um... Matthew Mercer, actually, years ago, had this weird Brawl Machinima series. Where... Oh, I don't know. Um... Yeah, there's some shit about it on his website. I don't know. Uh, let's see. Yep, in in 
Batman Arkham in Batman Arkham City, Troy Baker played um, Tim Drake. And, yeah. and I thought it was weird in Arkham Knight that Troy Baker was playing both Tim Drake and um, another character. Uh, Troy Baker plays the Arkham Knight, and I thought it was weird that he was playing both Tim Drake and the Arkham Knight, but no! They got Matthew Mercer to play Tim Drake. And I didn't even realize. And I thought it was really weird. Yeah, this is so good. Good job. Should is is Matthew, Matthew Mercer just should just have a permanent job as Troy Baker's understudy? Um, <laughs> yeah. And I feel sorry for him because, like, because like you know, there's like another fucking alt- alternate universe where where Matthew Mercer is the big guy and Troy Baker is fucking picking up the scraps. But no, this, this is the one we're in. Poor, poor Ma- Matthew Mercer. Oh well. Good, good. And, and he's always like additional voices in things that Troy yeah. Baker has a big role in, like Call of Duty Ghosts. No, no, no. Troy Baker wasn't the main character of that. He was the main character of the, the next one. But Lightning Returns. Troy Baker is Snow. And fucking Matthew Mercer is additional voices. Arkham Origins. <laughs> fucking Troy Baker plays the Joker and. Fucking Matthew Mercer plays Anarchy. <laughs> like, poor guy. Really, he's actually nice though. Yeah, I know. <laughs> That's of course yeah. he is. Why wouldn't he be? Yeah, he, he know he he's Troy Baker's understudy. <laughs> and he, and he's um, he's Walter in SMT4, which, yeah. It's, it's, Troy Baker isn't in that, so good, good job, Matt. You know, good, good. Oh, and he's Raidu. I had no idea who was Raidu. He's Raidu, guys. Yeah, he's Raidu. Did you say he's Raidu or who's Raidu? I know who Raidu is. Good, good, good. Um, yeah, I know one SMT guy. Yeah, uh, Mr. SMT Doctor Who. Um, <laughs> what? <laughs> Because he time travels, and there are multiple of him. I think the the Raidu the games is about is like Raidu the Raidu Raidu Kuzunoha is the one from the games is the fourteenth Raidu Kuzunoha the fourteenth, and they all time travel and solve mysteries, and yeah, he's just JRPG Doctor Who, and he's way cooler. Yeah, we absolutely should, Kevin. <laughs> yeah, <laughs> we, we, yeah. we meant to. Yeah. But, hey. you remember? Yeah, I was like, we're. <coughs> I was like, are, we're, are we going to wrap this up? But like, we have had like, appearances up to um, Raidu Kuznoa the fortieth. So, you know, Doctor Who sort of caps out at the point, but it seems like Raidu uh, does not. So, yeah, good, good on that for you, Raidu. Good job. Yeah. Uh, so, uh, Doctor uh, Who shit and yeah, okay, Raidu cool that. that. I'm <laughs> 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 <laughs>